What's good, y'all? Oh, shit, my shit kind of low, my fault. What's good, y'all? Today, we're reacting to five stories that prove Mike Tyson is not human. Let's get it. Of Brooklyn, to one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time, Mike Tyson was as savage as it gets. The baddest man on the planet made and lost over $400 million. The kid Dynamite was not only known for his brutal knockouts in the ring, but was also known they for they his lost over $400 million? outside the ring. Join us in this video as we look at five crazy Mike Tyson stories which prove that Mike Tyson was inhumane. Number 5. Knocking out young men at the age of 12. At the age of 12, Mike was sparring with grown men, and he wasn't only throwing hands at them. He was knocking out these knocking them out. Could you imagine being grown and getting knocked out by a 12 year old? The day Tyson walked into the gym, no. you could see a killer getting into the gym in cat skill. Bro, no. that nigga 12? He was an 86 kilogram. Give that nigga birth to 20 inch Cause ain't no fucking way. With God gifted power and natural ability, he was too good for his own age. He was already easily beating up the kids of his age in street fights, who would go home crying to their parents. The savage in him was molded by his past. His parents were drug addicts, and he lived in an environment where being weak was not an option. He had to make sure that he was not picked on by other people. And the only way to do that was to become someone people would not dare even to come close to. Right. When an interviewer asked Mike Tyson who he aspired to be when he was younger, when someone in the crowd yelled Muhammad Ali, it just ticked something in him. And he said, I didn't want to be like Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali did not come from the world I came from. I came from filth, scum, and sewage. So I wanted to be mean like Sonny Listen and Jack Dempsey. I wanted to be ferocious. I wanted to kill you with my stare. Number four, the boxing king has also been a tiger king once. When people start getting insane amounts of money, they probably spend it on cars, watches, and houses. No. However, with Not Tyson, Mike. it was completely different. With all the persona he had built in the world of boxing, he had to do something that would match it. And he did exactly but that. Look at this thing. Three tigers named Boris, Storm, and Kenya. In an interview, Mike said, I was foolish. There is no way you can domesticate these cats 100%. There is no way. Not only did he just use to pet them, he also used to sleep with them. In an interview, he said, I used to sleep with them. They used to live in my house. It makes me happy that I educated myself. It was late, but still, I educated myself. Still, I was wrong. As a young kid, he thought that would be cool. Kenya, out of the three tigers, lived with him the longest, 16 years, after which it attacked someone, forcing Tyson to bid farewell to his 16-year-long relationship. Number three. Mike Tyson vs. Silverback Gorilla In the 1980s, when Tyson was the undefeated champion of the world, he went to the zoo with his girlfriend Robin Givens and saw a giant silverback gorilla. There, Tyson tried to bribe a zookeeper with $10,000 to let him fight that silverback gorilla. Isn't that some inhumane effort? According to him, he wanted to put the gorilla into his place because he was bullying the other gorillas. I paid a worker at New York's zoo to reopen it just for me and Robin. When we got to the gorilla cage, there was one big silverback gorilla there just bullying all the other gorillas. They were so powerful, but their eyes were like innocent infants. I offered the attendant $10,000 to open the cage and let me smash that silverback snot box. He declined. Mike Tyson said, We can see how Mike's past came rushing back to him when he was an animal bullying other animals. It reminded him how he was picked on by bigger dudes when he was small and could not do much to defend himself. Number 2. Taking off Hollyfield's ear. Mike Tyson would not only beat down kids in the street or just boxers, he used to tigers. beat up the dangerous, brutal fighters who are well known for their brutality. Whether you are a tigers. boxing fan or not, you would be aware of the monstrous knockouts of Evander Hollyfield. Many great fighters used to avoid fighting him because of the damage he had caused to some very well-known boxers of that time. Many boxing fans wanted to see both these killers face each other. In the match, Evander was using some cheap tactics to damage Tyson. Mike tried to be patient with it, but when he saw that the ref is not taking any action, he lost it in the third round. Iron Mike bit Hollyfield's ear off and lost his boxing license. He got his license back and made three million dollars. <laughs> I know he was yelling like fuck. Number one, Mike Tyson after prison was terrifying. Yup, you heard it right. The elite ex-heavyweight champion of boxing has also been to prison, and according to him, those were his best three years. In 1992, Tyson was convicted of raping Desiree Washington. He was supposed to be out after six years, but he was released in 1995. That Mike Tyson was the most brutal version of him the world had ever seen. People expected that he would be done and dusted in jail, that his career would be over, and that he would not Nigga, have that only got after spending his <laughs> best three years in jail. Niggas really... However, Mike was not Nigga's really down Mike like he was gonna he get weaker. He came out of jail in the best shape of his life. The fuck? He was jacked and meaner than ever. 
and he proved it to the world by winning his next four consecutive oh! fights and went on to reclaim the world heavyweight title. I'm sorry. Joe Rogan, talking about the Tyson of 1995, Shit. said Tyson had abs when he came out of prison. That was maybe the scariest Tyson ever. Wow. You already know, man. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, man. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Look ugly, boy.